Hey, what's going on, guys? Antonio Smith here, the Zillionaire. I want to thank you guys for following us today. Make sure you follow, make sure you subscribe, and make sure you comment as well. We're going to talk about this lawyer that came up with a strategy for those that are investing in you know, South Carolina and wholesaling in that area as well. He's very comfortable in doing this. He has this strategy that's been around for a long time, and he's going to break it down. Because I guess in South Carolina, wholesaling is officially banned and a lot of attorneys are afraid to touch it. He's one of them. But he has a strategy for you guys in a new program, a new a new type of program that he has, which is called the installment contract. And he's going to break it down how you can use this installment contract and still. And he also shares some other investors that are out there now using this contract and having success uh, with this contract as well. So let's let's hop in here and see what he's talking about. Let's break down this installment contract that they're talking about uh, here as well. Let's see, what are they talking about? That's where I think you're looking at an installment contract because in South Carolina, uh, having an installment contract does create the ownership interest. Our case law and our uh, state laws actually talk about it. Um, and, and and by the way, have you guys ever heard of an installment contract? You know, when you start talking about the legal parts of contracts, attorneys know these types of things all the time. Like if you're like a just regular person, you're not thinking about all these different verbiages and different things. And over the years from dealing with a lot of attorneys and in real estate, it's it's really the proper verbiage, verbiage in the contract that makes it legal or unlegal. And this attorney's breaking it down. He's there in South Carolina. Some of you guys are in wholesaling. You think there's no other way to start wholesaling your deals. He's going to break down to you guys the installment contract and how to use it. And also fair use with this video uh, brought to us on behalf of Flipping Mastery TV. And also uh, this attorney here, Gary Pickering. Gives protections to the buyer, which is interesting because the investor is the buyer. Never does any law give the investor any protection. But installment contracts have been around since the 1800s. They were very prevalent in the 1990s in South Carolina. They became very prevalent again in 2008 when the economy went to crap and they have been used. My my brother actually sold two houses using a bond for title or installment contract and bought one using it. So I, I'm totally, you know, very familiar with how they're used. But I think the installment contract is probably going to be the end result because you can put down a thousand dollars in equity and, and then make monthly payments perhaps. But what we're looking at is instead of doing installments as two or three year processes, which is what they were back in the day, is doing them for 90 to 120 days. And what I will do is buy your house for a hundred grand. I will give you a thousand dollar down payment, which goes toward the hundred grand. And then in 90 days, I will pay you the balance. Well, our courts have recognized that that creates an ownership interest for me. We looked at the um, lending laws. There is FHA, VA, and conventional lending laws that talks about wh when you can refinance that as the actual owner. When you can, how you, when those properties are sold by you, the investor, how they act it, uh, treated on the BC transaction. We have tax laws on how those are taxed. Uh, we have title insurance guidelines on how those are underwritten. So we're comfortable that that's, this is a proper way of doing the transaction going forward, which will allow you not to have to put down hundred thousand dollars to buy the house. I can put a thousand dollars down and buy the house. And it, and it flips the transaction too from being a investor centric transaction to making it a seller centric transaction, because now I'm going to the seller and saying, Hey seller, what is it that's causing you to have to sell this house? Well, I want to sell it, but I have nowhere to go. Well, how about if you bought it from you, but I'll let you stay in the house for 90 days. But during that 90 days, I'm going to repair the house. I'm going to renovate the house. I'm going to paint. I'm going to do all this stuff. You just got to allow me reasonable access but you can have the 90 days to stay there to go find something else and move out within yeah. the 90 days. And, and then in the back end, 90 days later, I'm going to pay you off and we'll pay your mortgage off and everything else that you owe within that 90 days and you're done. Wow. Wow. Are you guys willing to do this installment contract? And he says there's some other investors in uh, South Carolina doing this and having great success at it. And we've yeah. done that successfully here in yeah. South Carolina now right. for about the past year working yeah and you then now have the right to market that property for sale because you have an actual ownership interest not one of these yep. you know i don't have legal legal ownership to the property and i'm marketing it so that and i'm selling it retail not to another investor so now i'm making 66 percent more money so i guess i'm not selling it to another investor makes it a legal contract you're selling it wholesale to an actual new buyer which is interesting so it's interesting that he came up with this installment contract method uh, that uh, that's actually, it sounds pretty feasible, actually. 
uh, Devin Robinson and Andrew Luke have been doing it a lot for uh, with us here. And both of them have run their stats and they are making 66% more money doing it this way because you're selling it to a an end user that's retail. You're selling it to Bob and, and Betty homeowner. Yeah, so that's, that's real money. You still don't have to come up with all the money. That might be a great, I think that's going to be a great solution. One thing I'm doing is I'm just raising more capital, getting, getting really capitalized to just buy it, move the mm -hmm. seller out, do whatever to the property or not do anything with the property and then market it and sell it. But again, there's no predetermined buyer. So you're in. That's another method too. Like if you guys got, got the cash, just basically buy the property and get the the the, uh, the seller out of the way. You need to wholesale that property, or now you can rehab that property, flip it without all the this middleman stuff. But if you're wholesaling and then you're in that South Carolina area, this may be a method that you could start using. And the deal a little bit longer, even with the installment method. I mean, we're just adapting here to what's being thrown at us. Let me run another scenario by you. What about? Uh, creating an LLC and then selling the LLC membership rights. Would that be considered still the same idea here or no? I, you know, I looked at that. I actually looked at something very similar of where maybe me, you, and 50 other guys that do investments together, uh, we form an LLC. You know, if you bring the deal to the LLC, the LLC makes a hundred bucks and then you get to keep all the all the rest of it for yourself and, and forming things like that. The problem you get with those things is when you start forming those things, it's, you have to bring lawyers in, you're paying a lot of fees for it. Um, those You're going to have to have uh, agreements. And then when you sell the LLC, they're having to buy not only the, the assets of that LLC, but all the liability. So if you tell me you formed an LLC to buy this property and now I'm buying your LLC, I'm buying every every risk you have. I mean, whatever else you've done and I don't know about, I'm buying that. So quite interesting. So basically, check it, look out for this uh, this installment method uh, that this lawyer is talking about. He's uh, Gary Pickering in North Carolina. If you guys are having some challenges out there with the uh, wholesaling in that particular area, shout out for him for even talking about this method because, you know, some attorneys won't even talk about it but he's sharing this method with you. Uh, shout out for them as fair use uh, of this video. And uh, make sure you guys follow, like, and subscribe uh, as well uh, for more videos like this and the link. So until then, we'll see you guys on the next time. So next time I see you, get ready to ask. I ask for the money. Then you had the money, you just throw it up like this right here. Hey, 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 hey. We'll see you guys on the next video.